Hey everyone, what's going on? So the Houston Rockets did lose to the Golden State Warriors yet again. Even though there was all of this space theming, just like last year, the Rockets didn't make the NBA Finals, even though it really seemed like that's what they were trying to show. But, of course, like I said, last year I was documenting all of the stuff with the space theme and Pope Francis. We got the death of John Glenn. 175 days before the NBA Finals. And in Gematria, Golden State equals 110. Let's show you really quick. Golden State equals 107, or 175. John Glenn died 175 days before, but also Houston Rockets equal 175. And the word Pope equals 175 in Jewish. The word NASA equals 175. Pope Francis equals 175. A whole bunch of interrelated things connected to this number. So, it's not that surprising, but I just really thought it was for the Houston Rockets, like I've been saying all year. And there was a video I talked about with Caldwell Pope, the Los Angeles Lakers player, Los Angeles Lakers, equal 175, and how he didn't play against the game in a game against the Cavs, then he played against the Warriors, and then he didn't play against the Rockets. And then he played against the Warriors all in like a short time span. And I said, I don't know if it's pointing to the, Cavalier or to the Cavaliers and the Rockets or if it's pointing to Golden State. And obviously, I don't know. We'll see what happens. Maybe Golden State won't even win. But they were definitely using the Pope and also the space theme that's connected. But the whole reason for this video is last year, we then ended up getting the Ra or the Astros in the World Series, the Houston team. And that's interesting because of this Game 7 here that the Rockets lost. They lost with 92 points. And in Gematria, Astros equal 92. So the Rockets, the same day that the Rockets lost with 92 points, the Astros, who equal 92, beat the New York Yankees 5-1. to one. And Houston Astros equal 51. And what sticks out even more is that the, all year I've been talking about the New York Yankees and how there's a lot of 9-11 symbolism going on. And at this game, the former mayor of New York City, who was the mayor when 9-11 happened, Rudy Giuliani, he just so happened to be at this Astros versus Yankees game and a bunch of the fans booed him and whatnot. That was one of the stories. And in Gematria, Rudy Giuliani equals 150, also 75, and also 69. And World Series equals 150, 69. I thought World Series equals 75, too. It, actually, it, does, it doesn't show it on here, but with the S exception, World Series does equal 75 as well. And also, Houston Astros equals 75. So, Houston Astros 75, just like Rudy Giuliani, the mayor during 9-11, the same day the Rockets lose with 92 points, showing us the Astros. So, once again, you know, just lots of 9-11 symbolism going on. Even It even says on his Wikipedia that, that he was knighted by Queen Elizabeth II for his leadership in the aftermath of 9-11. Like, you know what I mean? Why would he be knighted by the Queen of England? Like, who cares? You know, I don't even understand the purpose of that. But he's knighted by the Queen, who's been really important. And the, you know, he was the mayor of New York in 2001 when the Yankees made the World Series and they lost to the Diamondbacks. But remember, they upset the 116-win Seattle Mariners. And they did that 41 days after 9-11. And it was also one month and 11 days. And New York equals 111. 9-11 leaves 111 days in the year. Al-Qaeda equals 41. Airplanes equal 41. The date numerology of 9-11 was also 41. They beat the Seattle Mariners to make the World Series. And they upset them. Seattle Mariners equal 179, which is the 41st prime number. So that's why we got that story of Ichiro saying he didn't know who Tom Brady was because Ichiro's rookie season was that year, the year that 
And it was also the first year that Tom Brady came out of nowhere and took the Patriots to the Super Bowl after 9-11. And then the New York Yankees come out of nowhere and they beat the 116-win Seattle Mariners to make the World Series. I mean, give me a break. They also have the Patriot Act, right? And then the Patriots make the Super Bowl with Tom Brady, who comes out of nowhere. But Ichiro said he didn't know who Tom Brady was. That was a story we just recently got. And that's because Ichiro played for the Seattle Mariners who, you know, got upset by the New York Yankees the same year that Tom Brady came in the league out of nowhere and took the Patriots to the Super Bowl. Ichiro's birthday was also that same day that his team, the Mariners, got upset by the New York Yankees. So, oh, the odds, you know. You don't even have to really know numbers to understand what I'm talking about. It's just blatantly obvious. New York out of nowhere makes the World Series, and then the Patriots win the Super Bowl. Just like how Donald Trump, the guy who wants to build the wall, wins the, that we're told he wins the election on the anniversary of the Berlin Wall coming down, and they come out with the new, the, they remake the game show The Wall that has LeBron James, and they come out with a movie called The Great Wall right after he's elected. I mean, it's just a joke. So also, you know, this story, this story in regards to birthdays, it came on Rudy Giuliani's birthday. The word birthday equals 48, 9-11 equals 48, World Trade equals 48, New York equals 48. The current mayor of New York, New York City, is Bill whatever, de Blasio. His name equals 48, just like New York. Donald Trump equals 48, Wall equals 48, the Mexican-American War came to an end in 48. Kim Jong-un equals 48, World War equals 48, Russia equals 48, Mike Pence is the 48th vice president. It's a super fitting number that is going on with all of this 9-11 symbolism. And this year is the 114th World Series, which is even more fitting because World War equals 114, you know, Pearl Harbor equals 114, Holocaust equals 114, Kim Jong-un equals 114. There's a whole lot more that is going along with it. You know, it all stems back to 2015, I keep saying, and that was the year of the 114th U.S. Congress. That was the year that the New York Mets lost in the 111th World Series on the game that was played on 11-1. New York equals 111. Matt Harvey wouldn't come out of the game until there was 100. And he threw 111 pitches, and the batter they showed had a batting average of .111. I mean, just a joke. So just just interesting, you know, it, it involves New York. It, it also involved the royal family. Think about that in regards to Queen Elizabeth. The Royals won the World Series that year. Also, after 9-11, the playoffs of the Major League Baseball got pushed back. And the World Series came to an end on 11-4 that year. A lot like 114 and notice the 92-win Arizona Diamondbacks were the team who won the World Series. Think about that. Astros equal 92. The Rockets scoring 92 points. November 4th, you know, the World Series ends on 114, and this is the 114th World Series. I also pointed out that that was all, the day of this happening was the 148th day of the year, and it was also 148 days before the next World Series begins, the 114th World Series. And Donald J. Trump equals 148 in Gematria, just like Harry S. Truman, which is interesting. Let me, let me type it out really quick. Donald J. Trump equals 148, and Harry S. Truman also equals 148 in Gematria. Remember, Truman was the president during the Korean War, right? Think about Trump, Korea, lots of interesting things going on there. Even in regards to the number 48 that I mentioned above, Donald Trump won the election, and it was the biggest election upset since the year 48 when Thomas E. Dewey got upset by Harry S. Truman. And then we, just after... Trump was elected. We got the closest supermoon since the year 48. Israel declared its independence in the year 48. Donald Trump just recently said that 
you know, Jerusalem is the capital of Israel. He recognized that. Also, that was the year the Cleveland Indians lost to the Cubs in the World Series. And the Cubs, or the Indians, hadn't won a World Series since the year 48. And Cleveland equals 48 in Gematria. The Cubs, in regards to 114, the Cubs won the World Series on their 114th win of the season. And they were in their 114th season being called the Cubs. And it was also the first tie since the year 2005 that they had earlier in the year. The word tie equals 114. The same day as the Hoboken train wreck that they said 114 people were injured. A whole lot of stuff going on with it. So I guess I just wanted to show the 9-11 symbolism. I don't even care that the Rockets lost. All of the symbolism is still going on. And, you know, you can't always figure out who's going to win. That, that's been a real big thing. Who I don't even really care who wins the game, but, it, you know, if you, you can see the code and you can see that the numbers that you talk about, they always come up in the game, whether regardless of who wins the game or not. So if you can't see that the games are coded, even if the team that someone picks is wrong, but the numbers that happen in the game are what you're talking about, then I don't know what, what else to do for you. You know, I don't know how else to convince you that all of this is scripted this way. But, you know, one, one last thing, too. Like, there's something to do with George Bush being hospitalized in Maine. Remember, he was originally hospitalized in Houston just after his wife died in Houston. But there's something in 2013, before I knew Gematria, I was just following patterns in the media and, you know, patterns and things. And I remember there was something going on with Maine. There was a transgender story about this girl named Nicole Maines or this guy, whatever, transgender person that was on 612, which is the day that, you know, Trump and Kim Jong-un were supposed to meet. And, you know, it's George Bush's birthday. It's David Rockefeller's birthday. It's a big, important date, 612. There was also uh, main justice skits on Saturday Night Live that I was talking about around that time, and it had Justin Timberlake, who did the halftime show at the Super Bowl this year. And you know, there, I don't know. There's something special to Maine. There's a reason why. Even there, there's even like a girl kidnapped or something in Maine in 2013. They kept showing us, but uh, and a guy who died on the Fourth of July in Maine by a tractor trailer or something. But anyway. I was thinking about it in regards to Stephen King and, you know, he does a lot of stuff with Dairy Maine and he also, the new It film just came out and then he also has that book, 112263, about the guy who tries to stop the JFK assassination. So, I don't know, just threw that in here because Bush is really connected to 9-11 and there's, there's something going on with Maine. I don't, I don't know, I just remember having main symbolism before I even knew Gematria. I was following this theme that was going on in the media. So just something to keep an eye out for. Well, maybe, maybe it'll come up more in the future, you know, but interesting. They have 9-11 symbolism on the same day the Rockets lose to not make the NBA finals. So leave it at that. Have a good one. Peace. And well, actually, you know, if you're new to this and you're still listening, Check out the links in the description and please, you know, try to apply this for yourself and apply it for yourself to see that everything that I'm talking about is true. And, you know, so peace.